All right, hello and welcome everybody. This is Prussian with Veteran Dad Gaming. Veteran Dad Gaming, this is our first video, and it's over Subnautica. Veteran Dad Gaming came about because, um, well, I do like to play video games. I'm a veteran, I'm a dad, um, and I've been looking at some things on YouTube, done a couple of walkthroughs uh, with some other people. Um, and I realized that the majority of all of the walkthroughs were done by, well, let's face it, kids or young people that have a very, well, they're just gamers. Uh, so I figured I might be able to bring a different perspective um, from a veteran and a father standpoint. Uh, well, Subnautica, let's jump into what Subnautica is. It is a survival game. Uh, being a vet, I do love survival games. Being a gamer, I love survival games. I always found them, especially the free or play, they're, they're a lot of fun. Uh, and this one, specifically, is a sci-fi underwater survival game. Which is really cool. There's not a whole lot of survival games that are like this. Actually, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Uh, this takes place 90%, more than 90%, underwater. Which is really awesome. So, um... Uh, well, you know what? Let's just stop. Let's stop talking and let's start playing. I have actually played this game before. You can see right there, I have over 20 hours. Um, but that I never actually finished, and it was a little while ago. I don't remember exactly everything that happened in it. So here's all your different game modes. Really, the creative. Everybody knows what creative is. Um, it's a you know you can build stuff, you can manipulate everything in the environment. Hardcore is just like survival. But you only have one life. Free freedom is um, survival, but you don't have to worry about hunger or thirst. And survival, which is what we're going to be playing, is hunger, thirst, health, and O2. So let's jump in it. So the premise of this game while it's loading, this is the Aurora, uh, the ship on your screen. And it is crashing. And we are going to be in an escape pod, and we will land on this planet's surface we'll go from there I have played this on console oh well we're gonna jump into it let's do it Got hit in the head. Got knocked the hell out, is what that happened. And now we have a fire. Shit. Well, at least we know where the fire extinguisher is. That's why the things are flying around. Booting in emergency mode. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. All right, so this is our PDA and it's booted up in survival mode. Uh, so its entire job is to help keep us alive on an alien world. That's awesome. So as it says here, tab to close the PDA. Excellent. But we're actually going to go ahead and open it back up. So we can go over some things. Uh, as you can see here, here is our inventory. Here's our character inventory. Where our different pieces of clothing and stuff like that will go. Um, 
let's just start on this side, the data bank. The data bank has a lot of useful information. We will be using this throughout the game. Uh, here's our voice logs. So if you ever miss what she says or if you are anything that is said, you can typically go back in here, hit play, and it will replay it. We do have some screenshots here. We do have some beacons. We'll get more into that later. Some blueprints. Some These are the starting blueprints. We will get more as we go along. And then we went over the inventory as well. Currently, all we have in there is the fire extinguisher. So down at the bottom of the screen, you can see those five little um, bubbles. Those are our quick in, quick slot inventories. Over on the left-hand side, uh, the big circle is our O2. Currently, we have 45 seconds of oxygen. You're going to need to pay attention to that. Then we have our health, our hunger, and our water. Our hunger is actually a little bit low, and our health looks like it took a hit just because, uh, well, we got hit in the head. So, uh, here's our inventory. Well, actually, let's look at this first. So, nothing is working, really is. Circuit test has failed, secondary systems are offline, radio's offline, stress signal's not doing what it's supposed to do, but our flotation device is, is deployed, and the whole integrity is, it's okay. Uh, let's open up the inventory there. Got some flares, some water, and some nutrient blocks. I'm actually gonna go ahead and eat something so we can maybe try to get our health back up. We have a med kit fabricator. These are very useful. That will actually create a new med kit about every 12 minutes. You can see the uh, percentage there that will continue to climb. We can always check on that. Uh, damage secondary systems use a repair tool. We'll have to build one of those. Here's our radio. We need to use the repair tool on that too. And our fabricator to where we can actually build some of this stuff. Well, let's um, let's go check and see what's going on up on the surface. Let's take a look around. There's a baby. Alright. Well... Water, as far as the eye can see. Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Alright, well everybody's dead. Cool. And we're all alone on a water planet. There's no land. Like, that's shallow. And then there's some something right there. But it's it's all water. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. All right. Um. Well, let's uh. Let's go back in here and let's uh. Let's see what's going on underneath. Okay. So we are apparently. Close to a coral thing. Just picked up some salvage. Some limestone here. Two. It says to break limestone without crack. Don't Copper click on the thing. Is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Oh, that's nice. Unlikely, but plausible. That's nice. Got some titanium. Oh, crap. The thing just blew up. I just went and picked up that table coral because I saw it break apart. But, uh... So, yeah, there was something in here that, uh... Just tried to attack me. And it came out of this. It's not a really good Detective example. Deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. <sighs> yeah, so the thing that attacked me came out of that. And it has sulfur inside of it. We need sulfur for a couple of different things. Oh. Ow. Give me 
is over. Oxygen. Let's actually go back in here real quick. And let's take a first look at our fabricator. Okay. So, resources. Okay. Basic materials. So, I picked up that metal salvage earlier. It's going to give me four titanium. Which, that's good. Um, silicone rubber. We're going to need some of that. Electronics. That's how we build some different things. Food, we'll get into that. Equipment. I can actually make a standard O2 tank, so let's actually go ahead and make that. Currently we're at 45 seconds. Now we're at 75. I'm not going to make anything there. Repair tool. So for the repair tool, we need the silicone rubber. We already have the case holder, we already have titanium. Um, for the silicone rubber, we need crate vine seed clusters. Alright, so let's go get some of those then. Let's uh, escape out of that and get out of here. So these things are crate vines. The clusters, though. You can kind of see them there in the distance. Those yellow things right there. Yeah. We need those. So, let's go get some. On this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. 30 further study recommended. Ah, there's some more metal salvage there. Let's go and pick that up. Now these things are called brain corals. Oh. I heard him. Where's he at? Oh, that's him right there. Ah! That's the thing that blows up and is painful. But yeah, this is brain coral. And it's useful because if you saw, it increases my oxygen. Very useful. Actually, let's go grab that sulfur while we're here. And might as well grab this quartz. Hi, Ray. It's at 74. Let's go ahead and use that, uh, that. Alright. Let's make that titanium real quick. We know we need some silicone rubber. We actually need quite a bit of it, so... Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I know that we're going to need this lubricant, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep it. Um, we need it for a couple of different things, so... For now, though, I'm just going to put it inside storage. Um, let's 
see. We make some fins. We need those. Make it swim a little bit faster. Available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay. Uh, and we do need the repair tool, so let's go ahead and get that going. Alright, so as you saw, the repair tool automatically popped down in my uh, inventory at the bottom. So to use those, it's just hotkeys 1 through 5. Let's go ahead and hit 2. Yeah, that's a typical army thing right there. Let's just touch something and see how it affects us. Secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Alright, so as you saw, we had the environmental scan go up. So it is a Category 3 ocean planet, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, uh, extensive biodiversity. Safety warnings may support Leviathan class predators. That doesn't sound good. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. That really doesn't sound good. And planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue is unlikely. Great. All right, well, at least smoke's clearing. Well, let's go ahead and repair the radio. We need that thing up and running. This is alarm. The stress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay, let's just re-hear what that said. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay, well, well, yeah, the Aurora we're obviously not going to get help from because it's not going to be able to dispatch help for 99,999 hours. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to get help from the Aurora, especially since it's crashed. Uh, but, you know, thanks for letting me know. That's, that's cool. Um... Yeah. So yeah, the fins that we actually attach to us, uh, the, that increases our swim speed by approximately 15%. So hey, every little bit helps. I'll take it. Alright. Um, Alright, let's uh, get back in the water. Let's actually look at some of these life forms. Uh, this guy is a bladderfish. We definitely may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. We definitely need some of those bladderfish. Those are very useful for water. A couple of different items too. New creature discovered. New and you can even eat them. I'm actually going to pick up, uh, well, maybe I'm going to, if I can catch him. Come here. Got him. Oh, we have something in there. Sea glide fragment. Okay, well, we'll have to get one of those. I have to get a scanner to use that. I want another bladder fish, though. So let's uh get that. Alright. Let's actually go back to the ship. I think there's some other things that we can build. We totally should. Tools. We can build a knife, so let's do that. 
Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Okay, well, weapons were removed, so, uh, sorry, jarheads, uh, you don't get to get any of your bang bang sticks. Um, but apparently we get knives, so knife kills. Yeah. Air bladder. Uh, let's go and use one of those. We, we could use one of those. We don't need more flares. Alright. Um, okay, so yeah, for the food and water. So yeah, you go to the sustenance. We're going to go ahead and make some water. Uh, we have a bladder fish, so that's what we use. We're okay on food right now, and I don't want the food to spoil, so we're going to wait on doing the food stuff. Um, but to make food, come in here. Click on those, and it makes you cooked fish, basically. Um, Yeah, we don't need any of that right now. Scanner, we need a battery for... Do we make a battery yet? Okay, we need two ash the mushrooms for that. Well, let's, uh... Let's drink some water first. There we go. Uh, we're alright on inventory space right now. Get some acid mushrooms though, we can make a battery. So these are acid mushrooms. Every two plus one piece of copper makes a battery. You're going to be making a lot of batteries. Because uh, a lot of things need batteries. to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. that box at? There's a box around here. Ah, oh, there's one right there. Alright, so to use the scanner, it's my number two item, Sea Glide Fragment. Let's go and scan it. So these boxes are from the Aurora, okay? Uh, the thing that, that giant ship that crashed. That, that giant ship that crashed. And you will find all sorts of little things around to scan, you can practically scan everything, um, at least once. Giant coral tubes, acid mushrooms, all the fish, table coral, we're going to be using that too. what that is but the hell not we'll go ahead and scan it that weird fish that ray right there let's go ahead and try to scan him got him brain coral Yeah, 
you just gotta scan all sorts of stuff in this game. The mission is first. Oh yeah. Swipe, swipe, swipe. And it's fun to scan it too. see we just scanned a whole bunch of stuff let's check that out so scattered wreckage wreckage of the aurora yada 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 so we got some coral we got brain coral giant tooth coral table coral great coral as far as the fauna carnivores we got a stalker so this guy these guys are mainly in the creep vine forest they will attack you but they're pretty slow you can kind of avoid them uh, herbivores large. We got a rabbit ray. He's pretty. As far as flora, exploitables. We have the acid mushrooms and the creep vines. Then we have withering reed, which is not exploitable. Whatever that means. I guess we just can't use it for anything useful. I don't think we have anything new here. No, we got some new things that we can build. Water, some different fish. Eh, nothing crazy there. All right. Oh, Pathfinder tool and air bladder. But we already built an air bladder, which I didn't put that in my thing. I need to put that in there. So the air bladder is useful, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to put it at the last slot. Um, Let's show you why the air bladder is useful. I'm going to swim all the way down here. And you know, I'm actually going to go and pick that up. Oop, something growled at me. That was a stalker. Oop, he's trying to get me. Alright, so I'm down here. I am at 55 meters below the surface. 56 meters. You know, let's just go deeper. Oh, he just attacked me. Alright. I'm at 60 meters. It's going to give me the warning here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm not low enough. 30 seconds. 30 seconds of air remaining. Now I can try to swim back up there, but that's going to take a little while. But if I do this, and I pop it, All of a sudden, I start rising to the surface. foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. Oh, I'm going to start blacking out. So this thing actually, once you pop it, it will take you to the surface. And if I leave it up, it's going to keep taking me back to the surface. Try to swim down, but because it's inflated, I'm going back to the surface. That is very, very useful if you don't have a lot of oxygen. There are a lot of tunnels over here. Let's check them out. That. I hate those fish. Little freaking suicide bombing fish. Thirty seconds. No, 
30 seconds. Let's go and get out of here. next thing that I can build be useful I got the scanner I can make a flashlight that would be definitely useful battery in class caution continued degradation of the auroras drive core may result in a quantum detonation continuing to monitor hmm uh, we don't want that to continue to degrade. That sounds bad. Quantum detonation does not sound like something that would be fun. Sounds very uh, Hiroshima Nagasaki-ish. But hey, I can make glass right there so we can make that flashlight probably. Oh no, no, we need a battery, we need a battery, I forgot about that. Can we make the battery yet? No, we need, oh yeah, we can. We, we made a battery, we made the, the scanner. So we just need acid mushrooms. Let's, uh, well, let's drop this. Don't need it no more. Let's gather some of these acid mushrooms. I'm gonna make two batteries just because they're always useful. You'll be making a lot of batteries. There we go, now we have a flashlight. That's useful. What do we need for that? For the Habitat Builder, we, we already have the battery. We need a wiring kit and a computer chip. So for the computer chip, we need gold, copper wire, and table coral samples. We don't have any of those. We don't have enough copper either. We need two copper to make the copper wire. And then we need a gold and a table, two table coral. For the wiring kit, we just need two silver ore. Okay, but we have to go deeper for that. Uh, food, we could actually probably use some, so let's go ahead and make a cooked peeper. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. use that health kit have some water in here let's go ahead and uh, drink that too I need more water that's for sure may have to just go hunting for some fish and Flashlight. Most of these fl these fish glow, so you don't have to go too crazy with the flashlight. The flashlight's useful in a lot of areas, but when hunting for fish, not necessarily needed. Blackfish, come here. Got that one. Oh. Stupid suicidal fish. Goddamn haji fish. It's an Isis fish. That's what he is. He's an Isis fish. Oxygen. Hmm. 
I need a lot of water, so let's just actually go ahead and pick up the peeper. Where'd you? No, come back here. Got that one. Got that one. All right, cool. Oh, there's another one over there. Let's go ahead and get them. They're here. Might as well. Can never have too much water. Hydrate or die. Oh, there's some right over here too. I would rather have too much water than not enough. Just reminds me of a uh, forced hydration and basic training. Good old canteen chugs. That's always a blast. We should be able to make a lot of water, so let's just go ahead and make it. I'm all about being over prepared and having enough water to drink. That's over prepared. God, wait, how many did I make? One, two, six, eight, nine. Nice. I'm just going to drink that and drink that. That'll work. Alright, I'll take it. Oh, it looks like we have a radio message. How did I miss that? There's typically, on the uh, right-hand side of the screen, there'll be a little radio box. I guess I missed the radio message icon. But if you do miss it, it'll if you get back in your life pod, there'll be a flashing red light on the radio. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, well, LifePod 3, they sent out a signal. So that could be very fortuitous. We may not be the only people on this planet. Uh, that's always nice. Let's, uh, let's go see if we are. Alright, so I mentioned earlier the beacons, right? So we were able to see the the life pod beacon. Well now we have life pod three over here and they're in the shallows, which is good because we really cannot go any farther. What's great about this is you can actually change the color. So sometimes with the blue, the blue the blue of the water, you can't always see the icon. So I like to change those. Also, if you like finish one and you don't want to go back, you can turn it off, turn it on. But these are actually sometimes useful to uh, locate, um, locally uses map markers, if you will. So let's actually, uh, let's swim over there. And while we're swimming, we'll keep an eye out for goodies. Like, there we go. Metal salvage. Bunch of peepers swimming around, some bladder fish, some table coral, ah, more creep pine forest. Let's uh, grab some oxygen. And then uh, let's uh, swim in here. Is that salt? That looks like salt. Yes, we need salt. Let's get the salt. Salt is very useful. There's another one right there. Yeah. Ooh. Trying to get me. Got a limestone outcropping. Nothing special there. Just titanium. 
but we'll take it. You always need titanium in this game. Use it a lot. Let me actually go and scan it so we stop getting that thing. Oh, and if you have a tool in your hand, it's a lot easier to break. It just takes one hit. More salvage. We don't need any of that right now. I'm going to save a little bit of room in inventory for stuffs. Ooh, sandstone. We need that. Sandstone is useful. We'll go ahead and scan it. Sandstone's where you get silver. See? And I think you... You also get lead from it. Lead is also... was acting funny all right so this is life pod three and uh well i think they're dead um there's nothing in here but uh there's a data box let's go and open that up so we get the compass definitely need that uh and an abandoned pda all right so let's uh crew log life pod three new pda data you really think it'll carry two of us your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. All right, well, um, he mentioned that it may overload three meters from the life pod. I don't think it was even that far. And I guess they're all dead. Ah, more salt. Uh, salt is very useful for a lot of things. I'm actually going to show you how to make some really high quality H2O. High quality H2O. Ooh, a box. Let's go look at the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. That is very useful. We need that, but we need three of them. We have to scan three of them. There's some more salt. So the mobile vehicle bay is actually how you build um, some of your bigger items, bigger uh, some submersive vehicles. Oh, another mobile vehicle bay. Oh, I need oxygen. Six seconds. Let's go pop that. Ooh, that was close. We had like no more time left. More sandstone. That was gold. That's nice. If you remember, we need gold for the. I'm not mistaken, we need it for. Oh, what are you? Oh, wow. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, what the hell are you? Psychotic fish. Thirty seconds. So where's life pod three? There's that. Life pod three was like right around here. But I think this that little trench right there is pretty important 
Uh, looks like it takes us down into another biome. So sometimes this happens where you have... Oh, it's actually over there. Um, where your thing disappears. Your beacon disappears. Um, and best way to fix that is go back into your beacons, turn it, on, turn it off, and then turn it back on again. You know, reset it. As you do with most things. Uh, copper. We can use that. Oxygen. Nope, yep, we need oxygen. Oh, we're going to start blacking out. You see it getting darker around the edges? Ooh! That was almost bad. I need to manage my oxygen better. Where are you? Where are you? Where'd you go? I want you. New creature Got discovered. Him. A hoverfish. That's a cool name. That is a creature egg right there, okay? So we're not going to mess with those right now. We will be using them later. Um, currently. Uh, it looks like we're getting into another biome here. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Oh, that's not good. Um, well, we're going to have a detonation. We, uh, probably want to avoid that. Um... Gonna see if there's anything else that we could use. Ah, yes. Sandstone. I want more silver is what I really want. Titanium's always good, but I want more silver. Thirty seconds. Get pretty deep. Down to about sixty meters now, seventy, eighty. Oops, sand shark. Limestone. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects with a number of small cave networks. Oh, did we already scan that? Oh, no, we didn't. Oxygen. No, oh, we're going to be pushing this one again. Oof. There's some sandstone. It's more gold. I want some silver. 
Ah, my inventory is full. Crap. 30 seconds. Drop something. Uh, let's drop that. And now I gotta swim back up. I'll have to come back down to try to get that silver. Uh, try to get that silver, see if we can find it again. It was rolling. That was metal salvage. Oh, now it's getting dark. Stone. Silver? Nope. Wet. There's a couple of sandstones right there that we'll go back for once I get some oxygen. oxygen. Alright, let's uh, try to get that sandstone. I want to get some silver so we can build those wiring kits. There we go. Silver. There's another one. And gold. Gold is actually not as useful as you would think it would be. Or as rare. Like, I, I tend to get gold quite a bit myself. Copper is extremely useful. Alright. There's another one right there. Let's go get it too. That's more silver. That'll work. All right. Where's the life? Pod? There's life pod. All right. We can go and swim back towards the life pod. Thirty seconds. Yeah. Gotta get some oxygen. So with the computer, if you hold the space bar, that will make you rise up. It'll make you go up. If you do, I think it's Q or C. Uh, I'll find out. Let's see. C. Yeah. C makes you go deeper. Space makes you go up. You can always do the WASD uh, to try to get up as well, or down, doesn't really matter. Uh, but that's typically your forward, backward, strafe left, strafe right. Uh, now we're just going to swim back towards the live pod. Put down my flashlight, don't need it on that long. The music in this game is so good. Alright. Let's go back up here. I could eat something. I could also drink something. Let's, uh... Let's cook some food. So I got all of that salt, right? So one of the biggest things with salt is that you can make cured food. Which is useful if you're going to be leaving for a while. You're not going to be able to cook it. Uh, it actually makes it, it says dehydrated, but keeps well. Um, dehydrating, but it keeps well. Uh, regular food actually goes bad pretty quick. Um, I'll cook this hoverfish. And so I don't. The flavor of unsavory meat with salt or lightly <laughs> sourced herbs and spices. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. <laughs> Congratulations, you swam a crap ton. Yeah, 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 I have. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, vary it. How am I supposed to vary it? I'm, I'm in a freaking water world. Uh, whatever. That's uh, straight up military crap right there. Never satisfied. Ever. Okay, so once you get your uh, 
food and water above a certain point, your health will actually naturally replenish. So I have it above that point, it should actually start naturally replenishing. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. If it doesn't, then I'll just take a health pack. Not a big deal. You know, good old ranger candy. Alright, uh, so let's just go through this. We've already done all of that crap. Geological daddy, limestone and sandstone. That's just telling you you can find stuff in them. That's nice. Yeah, we got that compass. We need to make that compass. Alright. Oh, and we can make the seed glide as well. Uh, remember how I mentioned we were going to be using that lubricant later? I'm smart. Uh, so we got the lubricant and the copper wire as well. Alright, cool. While we're sitting here, I'm actually going to go ahead and save. I do highly recommend saving uh, because, well, this is a game. Crap happens. Alright, so to build the compass, we need copper wire and a wiring kit. Alright. So let's, uh, copper wire. And a wiring kit. Perfect. Actually, do we need the wiring kit for that thing? No, we don't. Thank God. Alright, uh, so let's go ahead and make the compass. This is an extremely useful tool that we will use quite a bit and it appears automatically right there below our depth so you can see that there now to build the sea glide we need lubricant and copper wire now i already have lubricant stored we have enough copper to make some more copper wire all right let's grab that lubricant out of here and now we have enough to make the sea glide The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. I need glass for that. Can we make some glass? I think I actually have. Oh. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. suit has been added to your blueprint database that's not good at all for your convenience a radiation suit has been added um, I don't think that's a convenient item now I think that is a uh, mandatory all right so we need fiber mesh and lead so we already have lead uh, fiber mesh do we not have any fiber mesh I thought we did. Did I put some in here? No, apparently we don't have any fiber mesh. Alright. What do we need to make fiber mesh? Ah, creep vine samples. Okay, well we can totally get those. Those are easy. Alright. <coughs> Let's see. Anything else that I need to build right now? Uh, I wanted to build glass okay so there's that radio icon that I was telling you about how you get that radio icon right there whenever you have a new message so we'll actually listen to that here in a second um, but we need to make some glass we have one quartz there oh, there's the other one let's go ahead and do that and let's go and unequip that let's make the glass and now we should be able to make 
Oh, we need two glass. That sucks. Never mind. Let me put that, attach that back to me real quick. Let's make that number one. Let's make the knife number two. Let's make the that number three. One, two, three, four. There we go. Alright. Put that back equipped to me. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you how to make that water real quick. Uh, so, while well, we've got it. So, this is the Sea Glide. What's great about this, as soon as I hold down W, it automatically goes. And it moves really quick. Now, this whole scanner thing on the top can get really annoying. If you right click, it turns on your headlight. If you right click again, it turns off all of it. There we go. That's what I want. Where I wanted the light, but not the scanner, because that can be super annoying. All right, cool. So I'm gonna. We're gonna finish this off with how to make this water real quick, and then we will go from there. Uh, we got quite a bit done today, and we're already at an hour for this video, so I think that's a good place to stop. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make bleach. For bleach, you need a salt deposit and a coral tube sample. So let's go and make some bleach. Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. All right. So yeah, imagine making cleaning wounds and purifying water. What's great is this water is not all that great. It it's only like thirty. This. One bleach gets you two water, purified water. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. All right, so I don't have any of that other water on there, but this gives me plus 30 water, and I get two for every bleach, which is awesome. I guess that other water is only 20, maybe. Is it in here? Do I have any water? Yes. Yeah, so that water's only 20. This is 30, so it's an extra 10. Plus, instead of one bladder fish equals one of these, one bleach, which is just a salt and hitting a coral tube, uh, makes two of these. It's way better. Way better. Alright, that thing is full of crap. So, I'm probably going to need to make another storage locker, but I think that is going to be it for today all right well it was a long video uh, first day we got those weird little fly things well we saw well number one we crashed we saw we explored a little bit checked out some different things when checked out the life pod we made all sorts of tools um, we got the message that the aurora was going to detonate uh in its warp core or whatever it is uh and it did in a spectacular fashion and now there's radiation everywhere um so i guess that's it for today uh on our next video we will make that radiation suit we will um go ahead and hit all of that up and check out that other radio message that I have sitting there. So there's a lot left to do. There's a lot to this game. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please give me a like and a subscribe so you can be notified whenever we have these videos posted. Um, hopefully I added a unique perspective to you. Hope you enjoyed it. Otherwise, uh, fuck off. Uh, hope you all have a great one. And uh, stay dry, fuckers. Hoo-wah.